Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and welcome to a special Halloween edition of Throwback Thursday. That's right, happy Thursday if you're watching this the day this video premiered. It should be two days before Halloween, so we're going to do some Halloween fun stuff. I'm going to be coloring a picture in Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. This is the first Hannah Lynn book I ever got. Uh, we got it in, I want to say, early September 2017. So this is one of my oldest coloring books in general. And back then, she had doubles in all of her books. She still has doubles, but now they're like, the double is a little bit different. So what we're going to be doing is this page... This is the first page I ever did, and I actually thought I was rocking it, and I did the skin last. So I was like, yeah, look at me go, look at this hair. I was using different colors, I was blending. It was magical. And uh, then I got to the skin, and this happened, and I was very, very sad. So I finished this page September 17th, 2017. So we're gonna try again. And we're going to try again in my new style using my new materials and we'll see what happens. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to do the same colors because if I don't look at that page again, I'm probably still going to end up picking the same colors because that's just how my mind works. So we will see. Um, and I also figured as a fun bonus while we were doing this, we could chat. Oh, no, I didn't think this through. Oh, my goodness. How do we do the chatting that way? We could chat about Halloween costumes of years past. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Okay, I'm gonna start with her skin. So if we, we trash it, I'm just trashing the whole video, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we won't be trashing it. And I'm actually going to attempt, hold on, my little batons are stuck. I'm going to attempt to use the birthday suit palette from Jane Davenport. These are a pastel palette and it looks like makeup, but it is not in fact makeup. It is art supplies. And this was actually given to me by Ren from Ren's Color and Craze, who I will link down below. And it was a super awesome gift. And I'm gonna attempt to do the skin with this. I have very little practice, but so far I've liked what I've come up with. We'll see what happens. Nothing can be worse than the skin on my previous attempt. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna look at some old pictures. So I basically have all the Halloween pictures of Sam and I from the past 10 years to scroll through while we're chatting. I just thought that would be fun. And I was gonna like look for older ones, but um, the past 10 years have all been digital. Like I found every one of these on social media to just screenshot onto my iPad. So it's definitely real easy to find. And obviously the older I get, I'd have to look for physical pictures and it would be a whole thing. So I think these 10 will be more than enough for the amount of time it takes me to color. I also, you know me, I might do about half an hour and then switch to speed coloring. We'll see how it's going. I don't even know what's going to happen. But right now, I'm just using these pastels and rubbing in some color on her face. And then I'm going to layer on some darker colors for shadows and things like that. So, yes. Hopefully you can see that well enough. I turned my uh, iPad to never turn off. So I'm not sure, like, um, it's hard to see on my screen because my phone screen that's above you also has a bunch of glare and scratches and all that fun stuff. So it's hard to tell if it's like the phone or if it's this, who knows? So hopefully you can see. But last year, 2019, when the world was still normal, I, Samuel and I were Yzma and Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove. So if you just saw my villain video, which I'll link up above, um, Yzma is one of my faves. She made the top five. And Samuel and I have not done Disney in a very long time. So you'll see when we had previously done Disney. And uh, in general, I try to make us like one year scary, one year cute. And I'm pretty sure this was our scary year. And I know Disney villains aren't actually that scary, but I was like, I'm running out of couples costumes ideas and I love Disney, so let's be something Disney. So I ended up making, 
most of Sam's costume. This, I had the dress, and obviously you can see we didn't wear appropriate shoes at all because we're like, we were gonna be in my cousin's house and then shoes had to come off anyway. So we didn't really worry about that. But I actually made his like leg warmer things and his shirt and his arm warmers and his little hat, which had the sticky uppy part that Kronk's hat has. It's just hard to see in the picture because he's tall and it like fell over backwards. I don't know. But anyway, I sewed all of those things. I basically just took a blue shirt and a yellow shirt and I cut the yellow shirt apart and sewed it to the blue shirt. And that was basically my first ever sewing project. So it is not good quality, but I think it got the job done. What do you think? Let me know. And he was wearing purple shorts, which I'm not sure if you can tell in the picture, but Kronk has like a purple overskirt thing, but we do not have any skirts. So Sam's wearing some purple shorts, but, and then I'm just wearing a scarf that I wrapped up for her like turban look that I put a big earring as the gem in the front. And then I had some fun um, earrings that I bought that looked like her earrings. And then I tried to do those crazy eyebrows. So that's why my face looks so silly. Let me, let's zoom in on, on that mess. And then I had a boa that I like put under my uh, little sweatery thing to look like her neck boa, whatever she was wearing. So those are my terrible eyebrows that I drew on. And I actually had really, really long eyelashes that I don't know if you can tell or not but there, there they are. <sighs> I don't normally wear makeup at all, and I know this is very exaggerated. This wasn't me attempting to be good at makeup, just so everyone knows. This is not what I normally go for. So, but last year we went to my cousin's house. She loves, loves, loves Halloween. Like Christmas is my holiday, Halloween is hers. So she had thrown a Halloween party and we went and we always go early and help her set out set up and then usually me and my other cousin which is her sister end up outside because we get too warm because we're like the the adults of the party they're only five years younger than us but like that's a lot when you're this age not really i don't know what i'm saying the the younger we were the younger they were too you know what i mean so <laughs> um we kind of avoid them but it's fun play like pong and things this is where everything could go wrong because i don't know if this is the right color for this Ooh. i'm just kind of adding color and then i buff it out and then if it looks bad you can go back with the original and add more color on whoa hopefully you can see at least a little bit the coloring portion of this i'm gonna give her a nice pink cheeks that again look really strong, but then I'll buff them out or I've ruined it again, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, so that was 2019. That was the year we were outside. I think at the end it started to drizzle, but like we were warm. We were very, very warm. So we just let it happen and just enjoyed the outside. The whole plan was supposed to be for her, her friends to be outside and then in theory, we might have even been inside. Did I really ruin this already? I'm a little bit worried. Let's get a really light color to go over this to like buff it out or I'll just have to match everything to this. Good golly, all right. Um, I gotta at least even it out. But instead, all of her friends were really cold. So they were all inside and we were outside, but that was fine. We don't mind. So that was 2019. I don't even think last year the party was on Halloween because like this year Halloween is Saturday, but last year it was not. So it was probably like a regular day. So I don't even think we dressed up on actual Halloween. That is like brown and where, where did this come from? Maybe the moral of the story is I've gotten no better and I still am terrible. Like, I'm going to give her these purple eye eyes again. But hopefully it's going to look more normal. This is nerve-wracking. Does that look natural? Oh my gosh. That 
something. I just need more color. Oh, this is the darker one. What have I done again? Uh oh, can I like wipe you off? So that's 2019, all that to say. Ready? 2018. <laughs> you might be able to see we are back in my cousin's party room and we were dressed as strawberry milk. These were definitely last minute costumes from Target, but I kind of love them. And I still have this and I'm probably gonna put this on this year if I have to open the door for any trick or treaters because I just really liked being a strawberry. I really like fruit themed things. And what's more fruit themed than being a giant strawberry? And I really thought this little like headband hat was super cute. And then we just kept making fun of Sam for being milk because that's a weird thing to be. But this was another <laughs> another year that we were at her party. And I think this year, um, Sam played a lot of Mario Kart with her friends. We probably ended up outside again because back then it was very warm. She since has gotten an air conditioner. So I heard that this year's party was a lot better regulated and majority of it had to be outside because the circumstances, which is also why I didn't go because we got cut from the, from the lineup. There was no room for us. It was very sad. Does that look good or terrible? I feel like in some lights it looks fine and in some lights it looks terrible. I can't believe I waited three years to do this picture again and I still don't like what's happening. Happening. Eh. But I just want all of her skin to be a little bit darker, I think. I'm trying to do like what I've seen beauty beauty gurus do, like where they put uh oh their uh bronzer and stuff, because again I don't do my own makeup, so I mean, if I if anybody does my makeup, it's me. But I don't really wear makeup is is what I'm going for. So that's that's that. Man, hopefully it'll come together when everything else happens. We'll we'll visit that later. But 2018, yes, Sam played a lot of Mario Kart with her friends, and I always team up at Pong. With, I don't drink, first of all. Let me also put that out there that this is a drinking party, that I do not partake in the drinking aspects of it, but I do play Pong and then I just drink water. And um, I always play with my other cousin's boyfriend, so not the one that, this is her room, the other one, and we play together, and his name is Dave, and my name is Danielle, so we are team Double Ds, it just makes sense, and we're really, really good. So we always team up because we always win. And who doesn't love to win? So uh, rumor has it they missed us being there because we couldn't crush them all at Pong. So don't worry, kids. Hopefully next year we'll be back. <laughs> By next year, they're all going to be like 27-year-olds and I'll be like, don't worry, kids. We're back. But that's that's how 2018 went. I don't think... I don't know if 2018 was the year we invented Double Ds. It might be a little bit earlier than this even, but Double Ds is a powerhouse. And it turns out we're even good at aiming at other things. Like over the summer, we played Giant Pong. So it was like um, a volleyball and big old buckets, like the paint buckets from Home Depot. And we still crushed it. We were undefeated. So we eventually had to retire just so that we could sit down because we played like seven games in a row. But that is her skin for now. It's a wreck. That's fine. Let's do her hair next. I thought what I would do was use my Cali Art markers. I may end up going over them with something. Who knows with what. But I figured this is much more representative of my current style of coloring. Let's put this behind there. Uh, I don't know what to do first. Should I do her hair right away? I am probably just gonna do her hair blonde again. Let's take out my little book. What 
color blonde should I start with? Cream. I still don't know how to mix with uh, Cali Arts, so I'm probably just gonna put a base down and then maybe attempt to go over it with pencil or, or with um, this stuff, this palettes. Maybe not, we'll see. I wish I had the third palette because it has the like reds and oranges and yellows in it and I think that would really help with hair. So I'm gonna go in with cream, which is 411. And I'm just gonna do all her hair and see what happens. So, yeah, that's that's 2018, I guess, in a nutshell. Double Ds were reigning supreme at the party. And again, probably wasn't actual Halloween. I probably just sat in the house on actual Halloween waiting for no children to show up for candy. I'm always, my dad always is desperate for children to show up. So he buys tons of candy, but they just don't. I don't know. I have a feeling that even before all of like the pandemic stuff, that trick-or-treating has been changing for a while and people were only going to people they know or people that like very outwardly decorated. I've always had some sort of decoration up though. Or like the first year we lived here, I didn't realize that if you didn't have your light on, that meant you didn't want people. I just didn't have my light on because it was daytime, but apparently that's a sign that you don't want anybody. So we'll see. One year though, my dad got full size bars and his life dreams were realized when one child came up to him and said, wow, mister, you're the greatest. And I was like, what's happening? But it made it all worth it for him because that's all that he wanted. But. That's when we had a BJ membership. So let me do this last little bit and then I will turn the page on our book of Sam and Danielle. Zoop, this is 2017. I was just talking about this in another video, but I really wanted, oh, my villain video again. I really wanted Noodles to be Cruella de Vil and Sam and I to be Dalmatians. So Sam and I were Dalmatians, but Noodles was not Cruella de Vil. So I also made this costume, and by made I mean painted. I think I bought the ears. It came in like floppy ears and the bow tie was little sets. So I used my bow tie as a hair bow and Sam used his as a bow tie. And then we did the little nose paint and then I just got some white shirts and then I painted spots all over them and then I painted the like whole collar of it to be our collars and then I gave us little names. So I was lucky and he was spot. But those are just names of some of the Dalmatians from 101 Dalmatians. So that was what we did. I don't remember, it looks, I mean this picture was taken in our house. I don't know if she invited us to the party that year. So I'm wondering if this was before we used to get invited. 2018 might have been the start of Double D's. But, um, uh, we definitely were in the house. The other thing I used to hate, I hate, you know how I said that I hate trick-or-treating because I don't like ringing the doorbell? I also hate being on the adult end of trick-or-treating. I don't really like answering the doorbell. Like when we have noodles, she freaks out every time. And you just never know who's gonna be on the other side. And for somebody who's a, as afraid of everything as I am, you really don't want to be answering the door to strangers. So I always do it, but then once Sam comes home from work, he gets to do it. So obviously this year is the Saturday. So he's going to be in charge of the door, thankfully. And we might not get anybody. So I feel like he got, he cheated me out of my year of solace from trick-or-treaters. But there's that. So noodles did not end up being Cruella de Vil because I couldn't find a tiny dog wig, unfortunately. So she ended up being like, I found a tutu and I found a turtle shell and I found a whole bunch of other weird stuff. So she was like a, a fairy witch turtle something, but it's super cute. Unfortunately, I didn't find a picture of that to, to show you right now, but that's what she was. I was hoping to make her a Cruella because I actually had a tiny flapper dress for her, which I'll show you why in the next picture. But um, 
she ripped through the dress, first of all. She broke it. And she also, I couldn't find the wig, so it just wasn't complete. So she doesn't necessarily mind clothes. She hates when they're being put on. And then she hates, like, she, once, she's, once they're on and she's like, well, I'm stuck, then she kind of gives up. But the act of putting them on her in, like, the first three minutes they're on, she'll try to tear it off. But then she'll just kind of accept her fate. So this year, she's going to be a mermaid. And it's going to be real cute. Again, not much is happening this year. My cousin uninvited us from the parties, which just makes me laugh. It's fine. But my other cousin might be, she has a 10-year-old and might be having like a backyard carnival with literally just them. So we might visit them since it's outside. And hopefully Noodles can come too and show off her costume. I always want to get trick-or-treat stuff for dogs because Noodles has a few enemy dogs, as you've probably heard. And I just want to give them little treats because I know like Pets, PetSmart and Petco actually sell little treat bags for trick-or-treating dogs, but none of them actually come to our house. So I don't want to be like that creep that chases them down the block to give them a little bag of treats. So that's that. Let's turn, oh, now I started a new chunk. Hold on. Okay, turning the page, 2016 was a year we did not really celebrate Halloween because we actually went on a cruise. <laughs> so we, we went on a cruise. I'm just going to leave it at that. But we had to leave and we had to drive to Miami on either the 30th or the 31st. So we did not get to do Halloween, but I was on a cruise for my birthday. So I am not complaining. But earlier that year, and by earlier, I mean a week earlier, we did, my birthday party was a murder mystery birthday party, and it was 1920s Prohibition themed. So again, on my Instagram, I didn't have a picture, but we all dressed up like we were from the 1920s, and I had a flapper dress and the like flapper hairstyle. So this was like the preview I posted before the party happened. <laughs> I don't know why I did it, but there it is. And that was definitely a super fun party. I was really nervous that none of my friends would get that into it just because it's hard to tell what a group of people are going to do. Whoa, I hate you again. I'm so sorry. But they all really like went all out and it was super awesome. Um, and I really cannot wait to do another murder mystery party. I was hoping to do one for Christmas this year, but again, we're not going to be able to all be together, which totally fine gotta be safe but I will one day be doing ho ho homicide as my Christmas party so hopefully next year we'll be in the clear for that because they are a lot of fun they're a lot of work to be the one hosting it but it's super super fun and I just don't know why I don't have I haven't had a, a Christmas themed birthday party yet so I'm sure a lot of you are saying because your birthday is November 4th calm down but once you get to be my age, you run out of birthday party ideas. So sometimes you have to have a Christmas themed birthday party or that's what I'm going to tell everyone next year when I have a Christmas themed birthday party. This year I'm having a nailed it party, which is on the 7th. So after the 7th, you will hopefully hear some fun stories from me about that. But let's go back in time farther. 2015, this is the first year we had Little Miss Noodles in our lives. And there she is being super cute. So we did a nice family costume. And we were, Sam was a cheerleader. I was a football player. And Noodles was our little football. It was so cute. Her costume was so cute. And it was funny because she turned six months old. For Halloween so like we had her for about three months but once you're six months old you're allowed to go to the dog parks so we took her to like a dog Halloween party at the dog park and it was her first time there and she was playing and she was actually playing with a few dogs were dressed as little football players like they had little jerseys on so they were all chasing her and it was like they were chasing the ball and it was super super adorable and super funny, so that was a nice memory. And this time, Sam actually is wearing a dress. He's wearing one of my dresses over shorts. You can't tell because the picture cuts it off, but 
it was funny, I hope, I thought. Um, yeah, I really like this costume. <laughs> She's so cute. Ugh. The costume's a little bit like ruffled up, but it was so cute, her sitting there. I, I'm really good, or Noodles and I are really good at posing her in this one particular shot, which is I have her sit and then I go behind her and I like call her over her shoulder. So I always get these really good like looking back shots. And I did that for this costume. And I actually, for Sam's birthday, the, the year after Noodles was a Pokeball. So I got a good picture of that. Also, we're coming to the part where I have to pick colors and I'm worried about what to pick. I wanted to do purple, because again, last time I did blue and I still remember that, but I don't know what to do with her apron if I do purple for her dress. I'm nervous. Pink, I don't know. I think everything's going terrible for me in this picture, but it's all right. I am having fun doing it and definitely having fun chatting about all of my Halloweens. I'm definitely just gonna go for a purple. We'll make our next decisions after. But yes, that was basically the Halloween that year. We That was our first year with Little Miss Noodles and I think it was super, super cute. We have yet to like really do another group costume like that. So we're gonna have to get on our game. And next year, go big. But she's so cute. It was just, it was so funny. Like everyone at the dog park was laughing that the little football players were, were chasing the little football. It worked out really well. And that was actually, like we just saw an advertisement for it. And that's where we also discovered her um, puppy daycare place, which she doesn't really go to anymore, which I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I would kind of like to get her to go every once in a while to keep up with dog socialization. But for a while, she would go maybe once a month. And if we do ever have to board her, which is very rarely, they're a really great boarding place because all during the day, they're just like a daycare. So the dogs are all out. And then at night they board and they get their own little rooms. And it's it was just a good setup. So I think she misses it there, but that's the day we discovered them. So that was really cool. And I'm glad we got to do that. So, next up, 2014, oh boy. So, I don't know if you can tell, but this year we were skeletons and I made these costumes too. Basically, I got me some leggings and a long sleeve shirt and I got Sam some sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt and I actually drew out all those bones and painted them on. I don't know if you can tell that I did mine first, but uh, my painting is a little bit darker I think by the time I was up to his, I was a little bit over it, but I actually would put the clothes on and like trace out the general gist of where things needed to go. And then again, I am terrible at all things makeup. So our makeup is not very good. Uh Oh, okay, you can still see. I'll let you zoom in on this magic. Also, we're not good at being serious, so. <laughs> This is us being serious. We just kind of look like we have raccoon eyes, but I, that's that's what I could do, okay? So <laughs> this year, we actually went to my friend Joanna's house. She also really loves Halloween, and I think this was before we were invited to my cousins. Like, that, we weren't the era before. I don't even know if she was having the party yet, but if she was, we were not yet invited. And um, we would go to Joanna's house, who also loves Halloween, and she would we would have like baked goods, I guess, and watch movies and play games. So it was fun. And obviously take photo shoots of us looking like this. What could be better? I'm gonna do pink. And I'm probably just gonna go over everything, even the dots. No, I won't. Um, I also need to take a sip of my water. So one moment, I'm gonna pick the page, the color off screen, I guess, I don't know why. I just wanna do like a super light, maybe 302. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip. Ah, 
delish. Just some nice water. Room temperature, of course. But yes, that was what we did that day. I think we did that a few years, so we'll see where the next pictures are. And if not the day of, like we just, we wear our same costumes to multiple people's houses. Cause again, some people would do the weekend. Some people would do during the week. It all depended. Back when we were party people, we were never party people, but her house, it would be maybe like five or six of us, even, even way back in 2014, we were never, we were never big on big groups. So that is that year. So it was a pain getting that makeup off as I'm sure you can imagine, but I thought those costumes were really fun. And again, I tend to just make a lot of my costumes for a few reasons. One, because sometimes being a bigger girl, it's hard to find things in stores, which I think is frustrating and foolish on the seller's part. Um, that's, I have a whole nother theory about that, but that's all I'm going to say there. But two, um, cheap. So it frequently turned out cheaper to just make our own costume than attempting to find something professional. Plus this, if I end up getting rid of it, I don't really feel bad. But again, if I end up getting rid of that extremely expensive costume, I feel bad, but I don't need a decades of costumes. I don't wear them to anywhere else. Sometimes I would wear these, like those leggings to bed. So it worked out. Plus, I feel like a lot of costumes that you can buy in stores are just terrible quality unless you pay hundreds of dollars. So why? why? Terrible quality. But that's another example of I've always like painted my whole life and done crafts my whole life for all these pictures. I have an even older one that you're going to see that we made. But let me finish this pink before I get there. Okay. I think we're kind of pulling it together. I still don't love the skin. I think I accidentally used brown instead of peach and that's what happened. How are we doing on, okay. Next, 2013, this is a two-parter. So let's see if you can figure out what we were. I'm, I'm pausing as if giving you time to answer me. When you cannot answer, this one is not a live video. We were, Miss Frizzle and the Magic School Bus. <laughs> so I was Miss Frizzle and Sam was the Magic School Bus and we actually took some really cute pictures where we held up signs. So Sam held up a sign that said beep beep because obviously that's the Magic School Bus's line. And I held up a sign that was like, get messy, make mistakes, and learn. I don't remember what her quote is right now, but it was really cute. And again, I painted that mess as you can see. And I also made my dress outfit. So like it's just a regular dress. And then I cut all the planets from felt and attached them. But I attached them in a way that I could later peel them off and still use the dress. Which is another way to secretly buy extra outfits for yourself. Is uh, knowing. Like having a purpose for them. And then you just get to keep them afterwards. Which is good. But... um. This year, we still lived in our apartment in Newark, which is what the background is all here. I don't know if you can see it. No, I'm pretty sure. Is that it? No, that's just the curtain. Oh, you can almost see it in the corner, but this year I actually had a Mardi Gras themed birthday and we had Mardi Gras. Like I bought a bunch of streamer curtains that I put up. So it was like gold, green and purple. And we took all the pictures in front of that. So I'm really surprised I didn't have one of those pictures on my Instagram to show you. But I must have been like, that was back in the day where you would post something different to Instagram and to Facebook and not just share it everywhere. And that was also back in the day where you like would post things instead of um, not anymore. I don't know. I just feel like we shared a lot more back then than we do now but it could just be a me thing but i i remember like oh i had a party so now i have to go online and pick for the album 
And do you remember like when albums could only hold 60 pictures? So like you'd have prom part one, prom part two, prom part three to get like all 100 pictures up there. Good times, good times. But I don't know if we did anything this year either. That's another good reason to make your costumes instead of buying them because then when you have no plans, it doesn't matter too much. I might have gone to my friend's house, but I don't even think we did that because again, why would we have taken all the pictures in the house? I don't know. So, and back in Newark, I also don't think we answered the doors for trick-or-treaters because if you know anything about Newark, New Jersey, it is not the nicest of neighborhoods, but that's where I went to college and then lived for a little bit. But, um, yeah, we were always fine. We actually lived across the street from a very popular park. Um, so there were always people around, which in a big city is almost better. It's very strange because I used to come home and like spend the weekend at my dad's house and it would be scarier being home than when I lived in Newark because there were no people around at night at my dad's house. So like if you heard somebody outside, it was weird and like something shady could be happening. But when, when I lived in Newark, if you heard if you heard nothing outside, it was weird. So like if you heard people, it didn't really matter. If that makes any sense. Um, so yeah. But yeah, this was the year that I had a Mardi Gras party. And I actually bought some gold leggings for that party. Which was pretty ridiculous. But I love a theme. I gotta go hard for the theme. So that was that. Where are we? We're up to 2013. We only have a few years left. So I'm almost done with this picture. We're doing good. This is another two picture holiday so can you tell what we are we were frankenstein and the bride of frankenstein or i guess frankenstein's monster and the bride of frankenstein were they secretly not married did i just realize that right now i don't know but that's what we were this year this year 2012 halloween was actually canceled in new jersey the first time maybe the second i don't know i feel like halloween keeps getting canceled but it snowed, I want to say. Like, there was really bad weather. So we could not do anything that we were supposed to do. And by that, I mean, it didn't really affect us at all. Because we weren't going to be trick-or-treating anyway. So, I really liked... Let's zoom in on this ridiculous... I don't know how we stuck those bolts into his head. But we did. And then, obviously, I, like, put my hair up in a weird bun and then sprayed it to get that coloring. But we just went to my cousin's house who now has the Halloween parties and took pictures with her. And that year she was actually a disco ball. So that's fun. I'm pretty sure like my uncle came home while we were taking these pictures and he was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? But just as in we looked silly. And another funny story about this one. So there wasn't even much to make for this. I think Sam found that tie at Goodwill and he actually found these shoes that now I'm not gonna remember the brand. Oh man, I think they're Clark's. And he actually found Clark's at Goodwill that ended up being his size. And we were originally gonna like cut the toes so it would look like his feet were like bulging out of them, all monstery, I guess. I don't know what our plan was. But he ended up loving these shoes and he just kept them and would wear them until they disintegrated. And then we would like, ended up getting him like two or three more pairs after that so that worked out well for him I guess I also had like these cool spiderweb fishnet stocking things I don't remember I don't think that was originally my dress I don't know where that dress came from but that was a fun one I guess Again, Halloween for a few years just ended up being let's put on outfits and take pictures and then take them back off because that's all we need, which again, that's fine. That's all I need. So, um, 2012. Okay, 2011. I think you can tell who we are in this one. This was our first Disney year and we actually only have one year after this. So this, we were Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Then, so I made my dress, which I basically polka dotted. I don't remember what I used, but I used some sort of circle 
to polka dot, possibly just uh, stencil paint brushes that you like push to make circles. So I polka dotted my dress. I only polka dotted the front, not to the back. So don't look behind me, please. Um, and then we actually got Sam's orange pants at Goodwill and I possibly his long sleeve shirt, I don't know. So then we bought ourselves those gloves and we bought the ears. I think mine were official Disney ears and like that was my excuse to get official Disney ears. And then his were just like generic mice ears. And <laughs> that was pretty funny. But we were in, in college still. Oh, the best part. Let's zoom in on these bad boys. We bought these shoes at um did we get them at goodwill walmart we got these shoes at walmart sorry that i blanked for a second and spray painted them <laughs> so i thought that was really cool that we spray painted them yellow like we had to go outside on campus and go like in the back somewhere and spray paint our shoes down it took multiple coats and I, I loved the shoes. They were my favorite part because they were bright yellow. And I think I tried to keep wearing them after this, but I don't think Sam wore his. But again, back then we had access to a Walmart, which was nice because I want to say the shoes were like $4 each pair or something like that. His might have been from Goodwill too, which is surprising that we kept finding stuff. Sam has really big feet. Like it's, he usually wears like a size 13 which is not the most common men's size. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm surprised we found so much stuff for him at the store. I'm basically done. What do I do? I'm gonna do the border. So let's talk a little bit quicker. We only have one year left. So that was that year. And I, I'm like blanking on what I'm trying to do. Should I give her green eyes? Oh my gosh. Um. That was that year. So we were at school and I think we went to like a school event or something like that, which was fun. And there was another Minnie Mouse there and I'm pretty sure she won some sort of costume contest, which I like wasn't competing, but I was just annoyed because she bought her costume. So like overall it looked nicer, but obviously, cause like, I don't know, I was offended. I liked my costume since I made it. Um, sorry, I'm like looking off screen to find my next colors. I'm just gonna do a nice light gray. Let's go back again to the first year, which the first year Sam and I were a couple for Halloween, which is this masterpiece. Whoo wee. This is Samuel and I being clowns. This was actually my birthday party that year. Um, I don't know why. My theme for this birthday party was not just Halloween. It was four year old costume party. So I had everyone doing crafts. I had us playing like scategor not categories, um, Pictionary. Um, I had us wrapping each other in toilet paper to make mummies. It was a fun time, I think. And it was fun for me because it was like all these college kids doing this. We actually, like my dad picked us up at school, picked me, Sam, and like three, two of our friends. And we went to Party City and I think bought 48 inflated balloons in all different colors. So there were balloons all over our room. And it was crazy because the next day, nearly every single balloon had fallen to the ground already. So like the day after party vibe was strong. <laughs> um, this was a super fun party. It was actually very scary though, because we weren't sure if Sam was going to be able to make it to the party. So he was supposed to go home and like do something with his parents the day before. So he drove home. And he calls me and he's like, so I got in an accident and they're taking me to the hospital. And I was like, excuse me? And I was freaking out, like I'm panicked. And I was like, well, are you okay? And of course, being a man, he goes, the doctors say I should be fine. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happened? What happened? Like, oh no, like, do you feel okay? What happened? And he's like, he feels fine. So after he confirmed he felt fine, I was like, okay, well, how's the car? Um, the car's totaled. <gasps> what? So like, I spent like two days crying. Not really two days. I definitely cried a lot that day 
because I was like, what happened? Apparently, he was stopped at a red light or a stop sign or something like that, and he got hit by an ambulance. <coughs> Excuse me. An ambulance. It wasn't an ambulance with their lights on. It was just an ambulance being a regular car. And his car flipped over. And he had to crawl out the window to get out of the car. Are you, uh, are you kidding me? Like, I was traumatized hearing that. I was so freaked out. And obviously, we weren't sure if he was going to be able to come to the party. But at that point, that was our first, like, birthday as my first birthday as us being a couple. We, he actually, like... Long story short, we almost were a couple the year before, but we were not. It didn't work out. So we were now officially a couple, and he had to borrow his parents' car, but he made it back um, for the party. So that was that story, but that was traumatizing. Like, I can't, I don't even like thinking about it. For a little while, we were both traumatized anytime we heard an ambulance, which again was silly because it wasn't the actual ambulance, like, it wasn't an ambulance with passenger that hit him. But anyway, so here's a little zoom in of, again, our terrible, terrible makeup. His all melted off pretty early into the day. And this was actually a store-bought costume. I think I bought this, the tights separately. But we were clowns. So there we go. That is a decade of Sam and Danielle's Halloween. This year, I don't think I'm being anything because of circumstances, no party, anything like that. So I might end up putting on my strawberry again just to greet people. And we finished the picture. So to be honest with you, I think I messed up the skin again. And uh, I don't really blend anymore. So I don't know if I'm better or if I'm worse at how I used to be. But let's see. There's the original from 2017. And there's the new one. I think even the new skin is better. Yeah, it's still better. I think the rest of the page might have been better than the old one. I don't know. I like it. Let me know what you think down below. Um, I almost am thinking about adding glitter, but I'm kind of, my throat is left and we're at 48 minutes. So I think I will end it here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, please say pie and let me know what costume you liked of all of them if you have a favorite. Um, or if you want to share any stories from your favorite Halloweens, let me know that too. I think it's fun. I love dressing up. I love a theme. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was going to post on Halloween too, something Halloween themed, but, um, I just think it works out better with my whole schedule that on Halloween, you'll be getting my October finished pages. So I think people will enjoy that video just the same. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time. Thumbs up down below. Comment anything you want to comment. I'll have everything linked everywhere. And that's it. I'll see you in two days with my finished pages. Bye.